So I read some things today, legal things you can do when an intruder comes in your home. So when a burglar comes in your home, the legal things you can do. So the first one says, do you have to wait to be attacked? In short, no. If you're in your home and fear for yourself or others, the law doesn't require you to wait to be attacked before using defensive force. So I agree with this one. Use defensive force. You see a burglar in your house, you use defensive force. You break his fucking legs, chop his fucking fingertips off and feed them to him. Feed them to his bends. It says here, what is reasonable force you can use legally? It says, as a general rule, the more extreme the circumstances and the fear felt, the more force you can lawfully use in self-defense. So the more you're scared, the more self-defense you can use. You look at all these old psychopath stories, any psychopath stories, serial killers who break into people's houses and murder them. You're sitting with your child at home, or you're sitting by yourself at home. Maybe your nana's upstairs. So depending on how scared you are, that's how you can react. So I just automatically assume I'm fucking terrified there's a burglar dude instead, he could be a psychopath. I'm ultimate scared. I couldn't be any more scared. So that means that I can do as much damage as I possibly can to him because I'm proper fucking scared. So that means, yes, you could strangle him till he's unconscious. Then you could pour pet leg, you could pour like a kettle of boiling water over his face, break his arms, cut his fingers off because that's the equivalent of how scared I am. It says, does the law protect you? It says, anyone can use reasonable force to protect themselves or others or carry out an arrest to prevent a crime. Now, it says you can carry out an arrest. So, legally, you can do a citizen's arrest. So, that means you can blunge his head in with a big fucking massive metal stick, make some makeshift handcuffs, some cable ties, some shoelaces, maybe some duct tape or something. But now you've arrested him. It doesn't say which jail you can take him to. You can take him to your own little jail in the garage to melt his fucking feet off. How far does the protection under law go? It says, if you do what you believe is necessary, that is the best of evidence of you acting lawfully in self-defense, even if you use something to hand as a weapon, that's fine. So if you prove that he was acting unlawfully, you have to prove. Well, I'm sitting in me fucking Mr. fucking Grumpy Boxer shorts in bed, and there's a six foot three smack head in me sit room, covered in blood, dead. I have to prove that he came in my house and burgled my house. Oh, no, no, I've usually got a big six foot three fucking smackhead sitting in my sit room with the Ben's PlayStation in his bag. You want proof there's his body? It says, yeah, what if the intruder dies? The CVS say, if you have acted in a reasonable self-defense as they described in the above, the intruder dies, you will still have acted lawfully. So if you can prove that he accidentally ran into your knife 18 times in his face, jugular and chest. If you can prove that that was a massive freak accident and it was self-defense, you'll get off with it. So if anyone ever gets burgled, when you stove his fucking head in with a hammer, remember, he fell onto your hammer 90 times on your head. It says, what happens if you chase them as they run off? It says, not acting in self-defense will now say, give you the same force, may not be reasonable, so you can't chase after someone and kill them. You've got to let them go, unless you're self-defense. So unless they're attacking you, then you're not allowed to try and kill them. Let's get one thing right. If there's a smackhead running down the fucking street with the Ben's PlayStation in his bag at full flight, and I'm fucking chasing after him, I'm going to beat the fucking PS4 clean out of his face, and I'm going to rub his fucking face in the nettle bush, in old Jeff's garden. What is reasonable force if you are chasing them? It says here, your, uh, reasonable force is a rugby tackle or a single blow would probably be reasonable. Yes, you're right. A rugby tackle than a single blow with a fucking crowbar across the sturdy, stinking tramp, thieving burglar bastard's face. It says the law does not protect you if you go over the top and it's a calculated revenge. E.g., you knock the intruder unconscious, then you continue to kick and punch him repeatedly. Not allowed to do that. Any fucking sane person in the right given mind, if they catch a burglar, you don't just stop punching them. You punch them until the police arrive. Non fucking stop. It says, how quickly would an investigation be dealt with from the police? I think it would drag on for fucking ages. You'd probably end up getting done for assault. Assault on a burglar. My advice is if you find a burglar in your house, fucking beat him till half to death. Don't kill him because you go to jail for murder, clearly. But if you do kill him, remember he fell into your knife. Killer burglars.